it's actually an easy question I'm classifying it as a gmat 650 level problem solving question in algebra essentially quadratic algebra because it expects you to know the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation so let's quickly run through the theory about the nature of roots of a quadratic equation and then round this question up right the question is what is the highest integral value of k for which the quadratic equation x square minus 6x plus k equal 0 will have two real and distinct roots right first thing this particular equation has got real and distinct roots let's find out when will that happen the second thing is we are not finding out a single value of k for which it's going to happen they are asking us to find out what is the highest integer value that k can take so that this can work so at some level this question basically combines two concepts it's combining the concept of nature of roots of a quadratic equation and we need to set up an elementary inequality find the answer for that inequality and deduce the answer based on that which is why this becomes a 650 level question because it's layered with two three levels of concepts right let's get started let's start by addressing the nature of roots of a quadratic equation for any quadratic equation in its generalized form ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 its discriminant is found out using this formula b square minus 4ac there are three types of roots nature of roots possible for a quadratic equation depending upon what value the discriminant takes i'm not deriving that here we have done that as part of our online course here i'm just going to basically use that values and more if the discriminant is positive if the d is greater than zero this is greater than zero then the roots of the quadratic equation will be real and unequal real and distinct as asked in this question there are two other possibilities it could be a positive number it could be a zero if the discriminant is equal to zero the roots of the quadratic equation will be real and equal let's say one root is three the second root will also be three in this case if one root is three the other root might be anything other than three the third possibility is when the discriminant is negative in that case the roots of the quadratic equation will not be real they will be imaginary numbers they are likely to be of the form a plus ib and a minus ib which are essentially complex conjugates just knowing that they are not real is sufficient from a gmat perspective so now what is told to us is that this particular equation x square minus 6x plus k equals 0 has real and distinct roots which essentially means that the di discriminant of this equation is greater than 0. So first step let's find out what the discriminant is. Discriminant is b square minus 4ac for this equation b is equal to a minus 6 a is equal to a 1 and c is equal to a k. So discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac which should be greater than 0 p square is a minus 6 square minus 4 times a is a 1 and c is a k this should be greater than 0 minus 6 square is equal to 36 minus 4k is greater than 0 let us take it to the right hand side so 36 is greater than 4k divide both sides of the inequality by a 4 4 is a positive number so the inequality stays intact in terms of its sign it does not switch translating to the fact that 9 is greater than k or essentially we are stating that k is less than 9 k is less than 9 and k is an integer according to the question what is the highest integral value it can take so what is the largest integer that's less than 9 the largest integer that's less than 9 is a 8 so what is the highest integral value that k can take so that the roots of this equation will have real and distinct roots that is an 8 choice d is the correct answer to this question